Am I the a-hole for leaving the hospital after my sister gave birth and announced the name of her baby? I 32F have been struggling with infertility for seven long years. My husband and I have come to terms with the possibility that we might never have a child together. Despite our acceptance, it's an ongoing emotional challenge. To help us navigate this difficult period, we both see individual therapists. We're working hard to find peace and maintain hope, even though the future remains uncertain. One small comfort we cling to is a note in our baby name book, tucked away in our bedroom. It lists the names we would have chosen for our children, names we rarely discuss now, but which still offer a glimmer of hope. My sister 36F has five daughters, and two weeks ago, she welcomed her first son. I was at the hospital with my parents, anxiously waiting to meet the newest member of our family while my husband was at work. When the moment finally arrived and we were allowed into the room, my sister announced that they had named her son Elio. It was a name that my husband and I had privately chosen and cherished. She told us that she knew it had been our top pick, but since we had not been able to have children after all this time, she decided to use it herself rather than let it go to waste. In that instant, I was struck by the realization that my sister must have snooped into our personal space when she was at our home a few months prior. I had noticed her lingering around our bedroom then, but hadn't thought much of it at the time. Seeing her with the name I had always imagined for my own child felt like a deep betrayal. My parents were equally stunned and questioned how she could do such a thing without first discussing it with me. My sister's response was dismissive. She felt that it was a shame to waste a perfectly good name simply because we couldn't have children. Overwhelmed by the emotional weight of the moment, I couldn't stay. I left the hospital without offering any congratulations or exchanging any words. At home, I cried for a while, grappling with the pain of having my cherished name taken in such a callous manner. The following day, my sister called to ask why I had reacted so strongly. She seemed to be perplexed and hurt, accusing me of making a big deal out of nothing. She also mentioned feeling hurt herself, claiming that I had never discussed our baby names with her and had been gatekeeping them, even though it was clear we would never use them. She called me sensitive, which only added to my distress. I ended the call abruptly, unable to continue the conversation. A couple of days later, my parents reached out to check on me. They have since advised me to let it go and apologize for walking out of the hospital. My sister has expressed that my actions during her postpartum period were selfish and hurtful. She believes I should make amends for my reaction. Given the situation, I'm left questioning whether I was in the wrong. I understand that emotions run high during such significant moments, but it feels like a fundamental boundary was crossed. Was my reaction justified, or was I indeed the a-hole for how I handled the situation? Here are the top comments. Not the a-hole. No one owns a name, but your sister did that on purpose. If I were to guess, I bet she has a history of trying to outdo you, outshine you, or just altogether steal your thunder. I truly hope you get to use your chosen name. After all, she doesn't own it either, and many families have multiple members who have the same name. 